Hi guys, welcome to another video of RC Body Build. So today, in this video, I'm gonna to modify the body shell. It's a BMW, as you guys can see here. So for this build I'm gonna do white body the BMW so I have many white body kit as you guys can see I'm gonna do cut out the body and then I'm gonna do test out the white body kit see which one I like it more and I have one more fake, I mean cheap copy of one ADSX. The is a inner bumper. So the package is on its way. So I'm gonna do start the to cut the body, and I'm gonna try it out the body kits maybe cut the rear bumper So I finished cutting the body. So as you guys can see here, the body is a little bit small. It's not too small because I've used the wider wheel. I think six or seven mm. I'm not sure and the body is 190 mm so now i'm gonna to test out the body kits the one adsx the e30 and the universal rocket body kit so guys i've just received my bumperless kit is a 180SX I'll cut it in a second so as you guys see here I'm going with the 180SX front fender and I'm going with the Dermy Works Universal Rocket Bunny Kit at the rear so I've I have to do some modifications at the front there so i'm gonna to cut the rear bumper hopefully this bumperless kit can fit on the bmw finger cross so yeah let's get into it like someone's with me it's strange So guys, I've measured out the bumper, rear bumper that I want to cut to fit in the, the bumperless kit. So I've measured measure both sides and I'm gonna to leave one space here to mount the bumperless kit. And I'll find a way to do the bump rear bumper attachable so that's easy for me to take on and take off the bumper so I'm gonna get into cutting the rear bumper and make it fit perfect and a note here 
This rear bumper is bigger than the rear of the BMW so it's uh, harder to fit so yeah I'll try my best to fit this perfectly onto the BMW I've installed the rear bumperless kit and it looks perfect. Previously, I told you guys that I'm gonna to make the bumper detachable. I can't do it because the bump the bumper is very flexible is not strong enough to hold the magnets so I'm just going to keep it like this so for the bumper here I've cut out as you can see it's very flexible it's not strong enough to hold to the body or hold the magnet for making it det detachable so yeah I'm just gonna to keep it like this and I'm gonna to trim a little bit here so the next thing is I'm gonna to try to cut the rear here I'm thinking about doing a rear mount radiator I'll, I'll show you guys in a minute and maybe the rear window here I'm gonna to put something here or I'm I'm not sure I'm gonna to mount the radiator at the window here or inside here I'm still thinking about it and for the front I'm gonna to cut out the area here, the middle and the side here. The rear is absolutely perfect with the rear bumpers and the fenders. The front is also fit fits perfect. I just need to do some cutting here and I'm gonna to cut the fender here because the body line here is a is a bit flat here so I'm gonna to maybe use the lighter to hit the body kit to make it soft and then uh, press it down I'm gonna to do some little more cutting here to match the body lines so guys I've used the lighter to heat up the body kit here and I press down to let it, let it form the shape No 
Looks like we've come to the end of the road There's no point in running away now I'd rather sleep until the storm is gone She'd rather be shooting at me now I know we will end up in anger I don't think we grew up, we just became older She's aiming her words, ready to fire I don't think that bullets will bring back desire I've done so as you guys can see here the I've used the hot glue gun to glue the balloon sticks together so as you can see right here the part that I glue is very clean so I'll show you guys how to do it and yeah so I'm gonna do glue this to the back right here I'll glue, I'll glue this to the rear first and I'll show you guys the process of doing the front Stay. 
so I'm gonna do just lightly put the hot glue gun the, the glue I'm gonna do lightly put the glue on the balloon stick here like you do the welding just like thick weld but this uh, using this is using the hot glue gun so as you guys can see it stays so now I'm gonna to do the other side because I'm try not to change I mean messed up the place that I want so I'm going to just squeeze the hot glue gun to squeeze out a little bit of glue and I just tap it and glue the joints like a little bit here to make it stay and there you go and now the front after you done the this and you want to put more around there to make it more stronger for not easily to to break off now I'm gonna to teach you guys is just squeeze a little bit like this but not too much around it and then use the Haku gun the hot side I mean the metal here is still very hot and try to melt it and make it stay in place and just like that push the hot glue to to set it in place and the result is going to be perfect I'm gonna to do on the other side and I'll show you guys when I'm gonna to put into the sh body shell so now I'm gonna do glue the roll cage in so I'll, I've placed the roll cage right here so I'm gonna to put the hot, the hot glue here here and both here to make it stable and yeah I'll show you guys after I glue the rockish in so I've set the roll cage in and I'm gonna to show you from the outside So I'll take it to my workbench and I'll put the cinematics for you guys enjoy all the choices you made did you make them again 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 all the lies that you told did you believe in them all the choices you made did you make them again 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 again